Um, first off, you might notice that my Denise might look a little different. Not, not necessarily the outlook of what she looks like as far as the avatar goes. No, I'm talking about the bar up here. Now, um, the reason why it's like that is because it's the standalone version of Dragon Naturally Speaking. And what I mean by that, it's the actual Dragon Naturally Speaking and not the one that's built inside of Denise. Um, the official the official statement from Gal 3 d or NextOS, whatever you want to call it, is that the standalone Dragon does not work with Denise. I beg to differ. Uh, it takes some doing um, and you have to install it a certain way but if you have the know-how to install it the correct way it does work um, and there's a reason why I did this there's a reason why I ditched the internal dragon for the real dragon uh, and it's a pretty big reason in my opinion uh, and I'm gonna show you real quick um, I'm going to open the command browser, okay? Now, the reason why I wanted to use the real dragon is because of a macro recorder. Now, what this does is when you use the command browser, you can get Denise to do anything that has... Uh, keyboard shortcuts. It's very simple. There's other videos that I've done on it, but the standalone dragon has one feature that the internal Denise dragon does not have, and that's a macro recorder. So there's this program I have over here. It's called Remote Phone Call, and uh, I'm going to be eventually integrating this with Denise to where I can just tell Denise, you know, call Anthony Johnson, text April Perez, or um, call Benny Martinez, or, or whatever, you know. This is my, this is the contacts on my cell phone. And I'm going to get Denise to actually uh, integrate with it where I can just tell Denise, call or text this person, and that she'll, and she'll do it. Now, with the internal dragon, this might be a little difficult, but with the standalone dragon, it's fairly simple, and I'm going to show you why and how. So first and foremost, in the command browser, I'm going to have um, a new script, and I'm going to say, uh, I don't know, um, call April. So I'm going to train it. Okay, let's say you have like a weird a weird name and it doesn't really recognize it so you just train it so I'm gonna hit go and then I'm gonna I'm going to say call April and that will train it so whenever I say call April it will call April or do whatever I want it to do call April done so I'm gonna make a new a new group here just to like organize all my groups and all my commands and stuff. I'm going to name it phone because this is going to be uh, with the phone app. Okay. Now with command type, this is where I'm getting into why I got rid of the internal Denise Dragon and went with the standalone. Okay. This right here, command type. With the internal Dragon, you do have the command browser and you have all this stuff, but you do not have the macro recorder. Um, with the macro recorder, you are unlimited. You can do literally anything with Denise, and you are not bound or limited by keyboard shortcuts as you were before without the macro recorder. Which let's just let's just say that it's an amazing tool. This is why I use the standalone Dragon. Now. I'm going to select macro recorder, okay? And availability, you can do either window specific, application specific, or global. Global meaning 
It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you say the command, it's going to do whatever you say down here. So I want it to call April. Okay. So whenever I say call April, it's going to do what I say. So I'm going to hit record and it's recording. All right. It's recording everything I'm doing. So I'm going to go to this program and I'm just going to call her. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit stop. So what that did was, you know, now that I think about it, <laughs> when I called her just now, I hit call and then I immediately hung up. So I'm thinking it might just hang up on her every time I tell her. I will, we'll test it. Okay. So I'm going to exit out of that. And it's going to show everything I did. Okay. So I'm just going to save that. Okay. And you can see this is call April. Global commands, whatever. So let's try it. All right. It's probably going to hang up on her because I, I had called her here. And then I immediately hung up because I didn't really want to call her. And when I hit this it started to call her on my phone, you know, because this is all connected. So it's probably going to hang up on her. It might not, but let's try it anyway. Call April. <laughs> it did. It hung up on her because... Uh, the macro I had I was still recording with the macro and I had double pressed it but you get the idea um, very very cool thing uh, this this dragon uh, standalone working with Denise it's a little bit different uh, I'm still gonna have to work out a few bugs like for example um, when I speak to Denise uh, and she responds she will, uh, <laughs> Dragon will dictate what she says in this box. And with the internal Dragon, it doesn't do that. So, um, something I'm going to have to work out the kinks. I don't know how I'm going to accomplish that, but I will. Um, yeah. But anyway, this is, um, this is the standalone Dragon along with Denise. And uh, it does, in fact, work. If you want to know how to do this, uh, visit the forum. I had put a detailed description on how to make this work. However, I will say this. Um, it's not the same. It's a little bit different than having the internal dragon. Um, prime example is she dictates what the dragon dictates what she says. Here, I'm going to have to work out all the bugs. When I get all the bugs worked out and everything's perfect, fine, and dandy, I'll, I, will, um, I will let everybody know. But it's a little bit different. And this might not be for you. Uh, and that's okay. You can still use your um, internal dragon. But the only thing is you will not have that macro recorder. So no big deal. But this is uh, the way it is. And uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. Hey, if you're watching... Please subscribe to the channel on YouTube. It really helps me out. So I'll make some more videos as soon as I can. Thanks.